Hey everybody, welcome to my channel! This is a quadruple, triple, triple fucking sextuplet flames reading. For those of you that has, you know, like five or six twin flames, even though it's called twin flames. Messages from Divine Masculine! I'm Divine Masculine! I'm Divine Divine Masculine! I'm Divine Masculine! I will own you! I will eat you! I am the supreme ruler of the world! <laughs> Or, if you're like my twin flame, you're divine masculine. Oh. Oh. I'm going to go get my eyelashes done and my nails done. Yes, I'm a girl. I wear dresses and I'm really pretty. That's right. My twin flame, so-called divine masculine, is a really sexy and gorgeous, delicious female. How... Can a woman be divine masculine? I'll tell you why. It's because there's no such thing as divine masculine at all, or divine feminine for that matter. But I am what you would call divine feminine, but actually that's just a label that somebody came up with to describe something they thought they were seeing. But that's not what really is going on. What is really going on? It's energy. It's energy. The soul polarizes at the level of the astral body, which is where the mind and the chakras and telepathy and Reiki type energy, all that stuff is housed in the astral. The soul polarizes at the astral level so that it can exist on this physical plane. Go watch my video called what are twin flames? Gender has absolutely nothing to do with it. Where then, pray tell, do these labels come from? I'll tell you where they came from. And it makes perfect sense. When people were trying to figure out what the hell was going on with twin flames, what did they see? Almost always, they would see a woman chasing a man. And they knew, oh, this is one soul in two bodies, and it's a woman chasing a man. I guess the one that chases, we're going to call her Divine Feminine. And the one that runs, we're going to call him Divine Masculine. Now, why does the positive polarity of the soul choose to incarnate into a female body? Almost always, but no, not always. I don't know. I don't know. I am a very experienced coach. I have helped hundreds of people on this journey. And I dare say it's 95 or more percent. It's, it's probably slightly higher than that. But I want to say 95-ish percent of the people I deal with are women. And the other person who's running away, running away! Is a man. Why? I don't know. Ask God. Ask God. But if you understand how this connection really works and what's really going on with the two people, you find out that it's just energy. It actually doesn't have anything to do with gender whatsoever, not even a little bit. And when you understand that it is just energy, then you can actually do something about it. That's right. You are on the correct Twin Flame channel, my friends. I am not a tarot reader who also talks about Twin Flames. No, it is the other way around. I am a coach who specializes in helping you attract your Twin Flame to you permanently. And I also read tarot cards. Go to my website, TwinFlameAllStar.com, and sign up today 
for the Introduction to the Journey Online Video and Coaching Package. Ah. Yes, that's right. Five, no, 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 this is not a gimmick. No. Nope. I'm absolutely dead serious. It's five hours of videos that'll explain what twin flames are and what you can do about it. And it's very simple, actually. It's very simple. I explain everything in great detail, but it really boils down to one simple thing. You and your twin flame are one soul. I guess what you need to do is align with your soul. It's the true spiritual journey. It's just true spiritualism. It's really just the true spiritual journey. No hokey stuff, no healing, no clearing past life karma, no fixing your Akashic records, none of that bullshit crap that you already know doesn't work, no. It's really traditional spirituality, that's it. That's all it is. And what that is, I would love to help you. A little different when you're dealing with your other self, also known as your twin flame. Okay, because of the interaction between you two, also the addictive energy that has to be quelched. I'll help you deal with that energy and neutralize the energy between you that's pushing you two away. But at its core, all you're doing is aligning with your soul. It's the true spiritual journey. Zen, right? Think Hare Krishna, Buddha, Jesus, real spirituality, not some cooked up flaky bullshit. That's why what I teach works. Your twin flame is your soul. Align with your soul. It's simple, guys. Very, very simple. I don't teach anything flaky, fruity, or that hasn't been already done for thousands of years. That's really what this boils down to. That's why what I do works. And it works so good. It works so good, guys. Your twin flame is your soul. Align with your soul. That's how you attract them to you. And, and think about this for a second, guys. What else are you gonna do? Like, just imagine somebody that contacts me and they're in a lot of pain, and they're like, what do I do? I gotta get this person to be with me. Oh my God, what do I do? Ah, right? We've all been there. So I'm not, I'm, trying to make, I'm not trying to make fun of anybody, but we've all been there. Okay, so you wanna know how to get this person to be with you. You see my message, and some people, I get emails occasionally from people that go, oh, well, how do I know this works? I wanna see results. Rah, rah, rah. Well, I don't know, first of all, I'm with my twin flame. Second, what are you going to do? Huh? What are you going to do? You're going to kidnap them? Lock them up, blindfold them, tie them up, and brainwash them with MK Ultra brainwashing techniques? You want to know, you're asking me how to get them to be with you. I don't know, kidnap them? What do you mean, what do I do? I'm telling you, your twin flame is your soul. All you have to do is match the vibration energy of your soul and they come to you like magic. It's the law of attraction, guys. Of course it works. It's the true spiritual journey. That's all it is. That's all it is. <laughs> How do I know it's gonna work? <laughs> come on, come on. Oh, I don't know. What, what do I do? I don't know, kidnap them? It's either that or you stay obsessed over this person and you stay in pain. You got to get out of the thinking patterns of the mind. Mindfulness is what they call that in traditional spirituality and align with your soul. And you can start by getting rid of the addiction that you have to this person. And I'll help you on that. I'll help you. Co I'll, I'll help coach you through that twinflameallstar.com. It's the introduction to the journey online video coaching package, five hours of videos where I explain all this stuff to you in great detail. And then you get to talk to me when you're done. And then you get to try my Get Your Twin Flame Ascension Workshop for free. Twin Flame All-Star, guys. Twin Flame All-Star. All right, check it out. At the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Wands. It's the king. It's good to be king. I am divine masculine. Or maybe it's 
Divine Masculine. Oh, I'm so pretty. I'm so pretty. My Twin Flame guys, seriously, she is so pretty. She's a pretty girl. Pretty, pretty girl. Uh, uh. All right, check it out. King of Wands. I'm sorry, I said King of Wands. This is the Page of Wands. What the hell is wrong with me? What the hell, Kurt? It's the Page of Wands, bro. Don't chase me, bro. All right, we got the King of Wands in reverse at the bottom, or at the center of the reading. Page of Wands at the bottom of the deck. All right, got to get my shit correct here. <laughs> So, Page of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Divine Masculine is just about ready to do anything. Let me rephrase that. Divine Masculine is ready to do just about anything. He'll do just about anything to get out of this situation. And look at that. That should tell you everything you need to know right there. The Devil in Reverse, Recent Past, Divine Masculine. Yeah, because we're letting go of this old paradigm. Bye-bye. Divine Masculine says, bye-bye. No more codependency. No more fighting. No more arguing. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. Really just about had it with this situation. I mean, look at this. The Seven of Pentacles next to the King of Cups in reverse. Yeah, he's not even trying to salvage the situation with his other person, right? And it could be, like I always like to point out, everybody's situation is different. So the situation, which is what these cards over here are talking about, is whatever the cooked up lame excuse that your divine other self, also known as a twin flame, your divine other self, whatever their excuse is for why they won't be with you, right? So, ordinarily, it's a lover, like they're married or they, they have a boyfriend, girlfriend, or it could be a job, they work too much. Could be family, could be like jealous family. You know, I, I run into that sometimes, like he or she isn't with anybody, but their family is just like, no, you can't see this person. <clears throat> And they go, well, I have to do what my family says, guys. Sorry, but I got to do what my family says. I'm sorry. I just got to do what's right for my family. That's so fucking lame. Come on, dude. Seriously. Seriously. Let that shit go, bro. Divine masculine. Really? You got to do? You got to do what your mom and dad said? Bro, you're 30 years old. You're like, well, my mom and dad just don't like you. So you're a tool. 30 years old or more. My mom and dad just don't like you. Well, guess what? He does not care anymore. <laughs> ready to do anything. Ready to go any place. Any endeavor. I'm just ready to go. I don't know where. I don't know why. Let's just go. Well, wait, don't we need a plan? Nope, I want out. <laughs> I'm divine masculine. I want out. Letting go. Getting rid of this codependent energy with this devil card that's coming out in the reverse right here. Not feeling it. Nah. Yeah, boring. This didn't turn out the way I thought it should. Yeah. Towards the Divine Feminine, the Queen of Cups next to the Chariot. Yeah, because you're his queen. Or her. Divine Feminine. Always on his mind. You are always on his mind. Or her. <laughs> right? So-called Divine Masculine. Queen of Cups next to the Chariot. Now, this is a seven. So even though it's forward motion, it's kind of a creaky, uh, 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 uh. right? It's like, it's like the Canadians from South Park. They've got square tires. They've got square wheels. Yeah, we're moving forward, but it's kind of a fucked up forward motion. But we're moving forward. We're doing it. I want my Divine Feminine. And this is actually a really good, this is one of my... Like this, this queen card is, I think, my favorite queen card out of all the queens. I like the queen of pentacles. The queen of wands is nice because it represents the other person in my readings. But this one, this is like a nice, soft, creative energy. It's very effusive. It's very tempered. Very smooth and silky. 
feminine energy, yeah. And of course, she's the queen, so she's the top dog, right? Top brass. Who is Divine Masculine's top brass? You. Your ass, Divine Feminine. You watching this right now. And it's right next to that chariot card. Watch out. Divine Masculine, wanting to be your lover. I wanna be your lover. Uh 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 uh. Yeah, you're my love. Uh uh oh uh, yeah. Because I love you. All right, so King of Wands in reverse, at the center of the reading. I was gonna say deck. I don't know why. <laughs> King of Wands in reverse at the center of the reading. So. This is Divine Masculine trying to figure out how to get all the moving parts to work together. Now, I don't know what kind of conversations you're having with your other self, also known as a twin flame. I don't know what kind of conversations you're having with this person, if you're having conversations at all. But I'll tell you what. If you are, it is very likely that he or she is trying to figure out how to get out of their situation and be with you. That's been the course of conversation lately. Haven't they hinted? Yes. And if they're not, it's okay. This is just energy. This is what they're thinking about. How do I get this situation to work out? How can I get out? It's like planning out your divorce or something like that. Like, how am I gonna ask my spouse for a divorce. How am I going to do this? What's my escape plan? Because because Divine Masculine ain't having it. Look at this. Now, you would think with this lover's card, oh, that means he wants to be with them. No, it's next to the moon in reverse. Okay. Divine Masculine is really sick and tired of not knowing what's going on with this situation. Remember about a month ago when I said something was being kept from him or her? That was like a month or six weeks ago or something. In Divine Masculine, there was something being kept from them. Well, guess what? By now, Divine Masculine, so-called Divine Masculine, knows that that is going on. I don't think they know what it is, but they know that whatever's going on in this situation, that there's information that's being kept from them, and it's pissing them the fuck off. I would be pissed too. I think your counterpart has every right to be upset about that because their spouse, their boss, their family, whoever it is, they're keeping something from them. Something valuable. Information, money, opportunities, right? There is trouble in paradise. There is trouble in paradise. And, and Divine Masculine is looking at the situation like, I'll take anything right now. The word desperate comes to mind when I think about Divine Masculine right now in this energy. Now, look at this. Towards the Divine Feminine, we've got Justice next to the King of Pentacles in reverse. Very, very interesting, Divine Masculine. Yes, yes, very, very interesting indeed. Yeah, that is really fucking interesting because Divine Masculine is basically throwing caution to the wind with his Divine Feminine counterpart. I don't care if it's not going to work out. I don't care if there's no um, thing to gain let me notice how I worded that. It's not that I don't care if there's nothing to gain. It's that I don't care if there's no thing to gain. King of Pentacles in reverse. Okay? It doesn't have to be money. Divine masculine doesn't care. You, divine feminine, you could be living in a shack in the middle of the forest. And divine masculine is trying to figure out how would this work? with this person. I really just want to be with this person because I know they're going to treat me the way I fucking deserve to be treated. Divine Masculine, he knows it. He knows that you're his queen or her, in which case you would be the king. 
<laughs> well, maybe not. Maybe not. I do have um, gay twin flame couples that I deal with. It happens a lot. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Gender doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It's energy. It's energy. That's all. That's all. So divine masculine planning his escape. Also pretty pissed off that this situation is the way it is over here. And divine feminine, he or she, your counterpart, they know, divine feminine, they know that things would be a lot different with you. And that you would actually treat them the way they deserve to be treated. And they want that. And they don't care. They don't care what your situation is. Your twin flame. Don't care. Don't care. Just want to be with you. Just want to be with you. Now, let's do an oracle card. And, you know, I'm, I'm trying. I've, I've been trying to find another oracle deck. This oracle deck rocks. And I still, I don't think I've really used this to its full potential. So I'm, I'm cool with using this one for a while, but um, it's so hard to find a decent Oracle deck because all the ones that I find, I either just don't like or they're super girly, which is fine, but I'm a man. So, you know, I don't want that. <laughs> um, or they have like satanic death and all kinds of skulls and shit like that. Look at this artwork, you know? I, I don't know, I just I just like it. It just resonates with me. It's not girly, it's not evil satanic death and skulls and stuff like that, right? I like it, and, and they're black, I like that. So, I don't know, I'll figure something out, you guys. I'll figure it out. I'm gonna figure it out. And as always, guys, hit me up if you're interested in your very own private tarot reading or even better, coaching. It's the Introduction to the Journey online video coaching package. Five hours. You guys, five hours. That's a lot of videos. I just added three videos to the online course. You're going to know exactly what Twin Flames are, exactly what the soul is, so that you can align with your soul, which is your twin flame. And that's how you get them to come with you. You have to match the energetic vibration of your soul, peeling away the layers of the onion, of the ego, to expose the soul that's already within you. And the universe does the rest. Boom, here they come. It works, you guys. And it's the only thing that works. It's the true spiritual journey. It's not any different than Eckhart Tolle, Jesus. The problem is the addictive energy with your twin. And that's what you and I have to talk about. So after you're done watching the five hour video course, and I usually recommend watching it a couple times. After you're done watching it, and yes, I make you take notes. <laughs> after you're done watching it, we talk in a follow-up session about your situation. Most people don't have a lot of questions because I, I am so thorough in the online video course, but um, some do. And we'll, we'll talk about your situation, and then you'll get to try my Get Your Twin Flame Ascension Workshop for free. Absolutely free. You get it for two weeks. It's the Introduction to the Journey online coaching and tarot package, twinflameallstar.com. It's only $2.69 to start today. You guys, that's nothing. That's nothing. There's a whole bunch of people out there that are happy to charge you thousands of dollars either up front or over a long period of time. I charge you a few hundred. That's it. That's it. And I'm going to give you everything. Everything. And if you can't do 269 of course, I have payment plans. You can start today for a measly $50, and then I break the rest up into four digestible payments. You can pay monthly in small payments if you cannot afford to do the whole 269 up front there is a $50 setup fee for the payment plan so if you can afford to pay the whole 269 uh, you know do that and you get all the same stuff you can start the videos right away you can talk to me right away for $50 guys twinflameallstar.com check it out all right let's do this Sa. Let's do this! Ah. I'm gonna read my oracle deck! Ah.
for whom the bell tolls. Ah. All right. All right, Miss Oracle. Let's do it. Whoa. Whoa. Holy shit. Felt that one. Which one is it? this one. Oh. Interesting. Not what I was expecting. Oh. Oh. I get it. Integrity. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This situation over here, the situation that Divine Masculine is embroiled in, I wouldn't exactly call that situation as having a lot of integrity, would you? You know, having somebody basically shit all over you. I mean, that's... you got to give the guy or gal some sympathy. His situation is very unjust. But with you, it's exactly the opposite. That's why we got the justice card. Integrity is what he or she seeks, so-called divine masculine. Integrity. Being whole, having some integrity, right? Not the I don't and I don't think it's the whole bit. Well, yeah, maybe too, the whole bit about like meaning what you say and saying what you mean, etc. But to me, integrity is the other kind where it's you know being whole, having integrity. Right? A leaky boat has no integrity to the whole. The whole has no integrity. You know what I'm saying. Divine Masculine seeking integrity. Seeking integrity. Look at this. For the weak, most likely outcome. The Hermit in reverse. Eh, okay. Well, you're a craphead, Divine Masculine. <laughs> Come on. What's going to happen here? Hmm. I don't know, but I think whatever secrets are being revealed... To divine masculine, um, it's a it's a ploy. I think he's he or she is going to fall for it because we got this four of pentacles next to the magician. Okay, this is a ploy. This is what's really going on in the situation that he can't see. He's going to call him out on it. He or she, okay, divine masculine, going to call him out on it. The people in the situation, and he's going to say, "All right, I'll stick around." It's not going to last, guys. It's not going to last. Otherwise, I wouldn't be getting this Page of Wands card. But by the end of the week, there's going to be some trickery. And he's going to fall for it. That's why I'm getting these two cards. And I can tell it's trickery too because of the way this Hermit card comes out in the reverse like that. Now, towards you, towards you, this is an interesting, if not cryptic, combination. Five of Cups in reverse next to the Ten of Cups. Okay, so this is, I think... I think I would describe it best as a small subconscious emotional re release, but a very large buildup of future energies. Divine Masculine knows that you, Divine Feminine, are his home. And you're not going anywhere, right? As far as he's concerned. That's why this Five of Cups is coming out in the reverse like this. This is a stall. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. Why? Why is that the case? Because this, I mean, this card is the card of a happy future, a happy home, a happy family, a happy couple. This is deception. This magician card, okay, that's one thing. But how it's coming out next to the four of pentacles like that? Uh-uh. No. This is deception. That's what that is. That's got deception written all over it. And I don't think I don't think he's gonna fall for it, you guys. I don't think he's gonna fall for it. He's already trying to figure out how he can be with his divine feminine anyway. This is ephemeral. It's totally ephemeral. He's starting to wake up, waking up. Even when someone tries to pull the wool over his eyes, it ain't working. It ain't working. Thank God. 
I'm so tired of the back and forth drama with this guy. <laughs> All right, you guys. Great reading. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, tomorrow is my live Q&A, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Is it 5 or 6? I can't remember. I think it's 6, actually. Let me look. Hold on. It is... Oh, it is 5. 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, live Q&A tomorrow. Be there or be square. Mwah! Have a fabulous rest of your day, everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye.